at the first Transparency Camp in Europe, which is an unconference bringing together people who are open data activists, our civil society, government, and anybody else who's interested in how we can create a more transparent and inclusive Europe. So people come together, they suggest sessions, and uh, run sessions and get together with others who they might not usually be in the same room with. And uh, it's a great space to learn about new projects, create new projects, discuss complex issues, and see how we can move Europe forward together. I'm very pleased and amused by the, well, the, the chaos, the, the inventive way uh, this is organized and uh, the invitation to the participants to be innovative towards the issue of transparency. What a great day, what a wonderful first transparency camp for the EU and just incredible to see I think government in particular partnering with civil society to, to make this happen. A lot of people intermingled, a lot of civil society and governments working together, talking together um, and, and showing also uh, their uh, different perspectives when it comes to transparency and opening up government and government data. We are working on the subject of transparency in the European decision-making process every day on a daily basis. But we are within a certain framework and it's very good to have external views, external expertise, not only one side of the story. The issue of transparency has, has many faces. There are many dimensions and, and many aspects. What we need in modern times is uh, innovation. And uh, I think this way of organizing is just provoking innovation. The general question in our session was, are we on the right track? Well, I think we are, uh, but there is still a lot of work to do. It's not uh, a case of that the information is not available, but people don't really understand it. And we have to explain it in a better way and we make it more uh, accessible and traceable and open to the public. One way to, um, to, to lessen the gap between their information um, is by transparency and by showing that uh, transparency is not uh, um, something scary. It was an extremely inspiring day. 400 people with a lot of ambition about transparency. A lot of ideas came up. Our minister uh, will put them on the agenda for the upcoming meeting in Brussels. All of those incredible ideas now need to become action. And we should really think about ways to continue collaborating together and to continue moving those ideas forward so we can create the change that we're seeking to create. <laughs>